Hello YouTube, alright, I am going to start a new series in the SQL which will help to you uh, on in your interviews and uh, your application as well. So from the scratch we will see one by one uh, points which uh, we use in our daily uh, application development and uh, mostly asked in the interviews when we are looking for the job in any MNC or uh, any uh, IT organizations. So let's start. Here we will see that what is temporary table in SQL and how many types of uh, temp table available in SQL. So basically first we will see that what is the temporary table. Temporary table are created in the temp DB. This is the temporary database which will generate automatically when you create any any temporary table. So, and it will delete it automatically as soon as the last connection is terminated. So, it I will show you practically that how it uh, deleted automatically. Temporary tables are very useful when we need to store temporary data. Suppose we are creating a stored procedure and now we have to do some conditions. So, uh, sometimes it's very hectic to do in the inner join or uh, sub queries. So, we just uh, implement the uh, implement our stored procedure with the help of temp table which uh, improve the performance of our query as well. So I will show uh, through practical. Now if we create a temporary table then what will be the syntax? So syntax is hash and your table name. So hash is the prefix which is used to denote that this is the temp table. Now basically there are two types of temporary table in SQL, local temporary table and global temporary table. First we will see about the local temporary table. So what it is? Local temp table is available only for the session that has created it. Right now if you are not understanding then, then don't be panic. I will show you by practical. So you will get the all about. Uh, the temp table. So it is automatically dropped when the connection that has created or closed. To create local temp table the single hash just keep in mind single hash is the prefix used for the creation. So now I had opened a database SQL Server Management Studio. Now I will create the sing, uh, local temp table. So the command is create table and then table name with the hash hash my temp table and whatever name you can uh, put over here and what are the parameters or you can say what are the columns will be like I am mentioning that id which will be int and name where care whatever size you want to post pass it so just press f5 it has been created now if you want to see that where it's uh, stored temporary then just refresh your database now you will find uh, under the system database and then temp db go into it and check the temporary table folder expand it and now you will see your temp table name that my temp table so it is uh, stored in the temporary database now if i want to uh, select this temp table then I will write the command like select start from hash my temp table. Right now we didn't insert anything so it will return blank. If you want to insert something in the temp table so it's simple command which we regularly do in our SQL table. So insert into your table name hashtag my temp table and directly we can insert like values and first column is id so one and name I will pass like Rinko and another value if I want to pass then 2 and the name like Komal and execute it. Now two rows affected means two rows has been inserted. Now perform the select start from hash temp table. So you will find your record. So this is uh, about the temp table. Now I will show the difference between the temp table and the another one is that global table. So first we will learn that what is global table. So global temporary tables are visible to all connections and dropped when the last connection 
referencing the table is closed the temp table was available uh, local temp table was available only for the uh, single connection but the global temp table available for all connection now we will see that how to create the global temporary table so the main difference is there are two hash as a prefix on your table name so let's see by the example so now i will create global temp table so create table double hash 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 and uh, whatever you can say like like my temp data and i will pass the same argument or column name in it now just execute it so your temporary table has been created when you will refresh this uh, you will find your uh, so global temp table over here now insert the, the record in it so i will just copy it and just uh, rename your table and insert it now select from your global temp table so you will find your record c so this is about the global temp table now we will understand that what is the difference between local and global temp table now here we had uh, write down in this window in this query window if i want to access this temp table in another window suppose in the another uh, qu uh, query window so when i will try to access my local temp table then see the result select star from sorry select star from your temp table now let's see it is showing that invalid object name hashtag my temp table means it is not finding that local temp table and by another way if i want to access my global temp table then i will be accessible over here so now you can uh, observe the difference between local and global because uh, the global uh, the name itself suggests that we can access globally means we can access in all query windows and but uh, in that uh, local we want to just uh, access in that uh, created session only so when this table will destroy so the methodology is same now if you will refresh these tables are available when you will create that uh, when you will close the query window in which you had created the tables so just close it and now try to access so the table has been deleted and when you will refresh so these tables are also deleted from here so this is basically what about temp tables now you can uh, how you can use the temp tables in your stored processors or functions you can say so if i am creating a stored processor he over here so basic stored processor i will create to select the data Uh, and I'm putting the taste temp table underscore sp. And now I will create the temp table in it and will use it. Like simply I will creating create table hashtag emp details and the value like id int name varchar. 20 and i will insert the data into it insert into hash emp details and uh, directly insert values id1 comma name taste another value 2 comma abcd that's all and write down the select command select star from hashtag emp details so this is all about temp table or you can also pass the dynamic value like uh, suppose id int comma i want to pass a parameter so parameter name varchar and 20 let's execute it and now i want to execute this stored processor so just to refresh it and you will find your 
right click execute if i want to sorry i have to pass the parameter in the temp table also so i have to alter it alter values like at the rate id and name and just delete it and f5 now let's execute it execute i want to pass id 1 and name like rinku execute it you will get the data over here means there are the temporary storage so we can use uh, in our functions like this which will uh, perform our uh, which, which will improve the performance of our uh, functions or stored processes so this is also created in the temp table but the name is not right because we are using in the stored processes so this is all about the uh, temp tables if you have any query or any question related to that you can post something uh, whatever uh, questions or doubt into this uh, uh, blog or else you can directly comment out on my youtube channel thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video till that stay tuned